Hi guys. Um, do you know who owns your land, your federal land? Well, it's the Bureau of Land Management. And, well, it just depends on if you're a corporation or not who owns that land. And so that's why we're seeing all these mining companies and people coming and stealing the water. And there's a site I'm going to link to this. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because of what's happening to the Apaches. And they're really trying to save their water because there's an act called the Southeast Arizona Land Exchange and Conservation Act. Doesn't that sound really nice? Um, Land Exchange and Conservation Act. Um, but it's not really a conservation act at all. They're actually going to steal the water from the people <clears throat> in Southeast Arizona um, for a copper mining company. So... Um, what I'm, I'm just kind of telling you what they're doing, and I'm going to leave the links below. But I really want you to check out the um, Who Owns the West. And it gives you maps you can click on um, and what mining companies and, and actually even what state and what corporation they belong to. So in order for us to really be sovereign, you're going to have to... The only people that are standing up, because the only people that are really pushing this on first has been the Native Americans be because, and I'm not saying this in disrespect to anybody, because a lot of other people, they're kind of hidden. You may see a casino down, you know, when you're driving down the road or something that you think an Indian owns, but they they never had the money to build a, cas a casino. You think about that. Indians are pretty much the minority and the poorest people in the United States and Canada, the First Nations are. So... Think about those casinos. Who did they borrow the money from? How much money are they going to have to pay back? So, um, but these mining companies are now taking on your federal lands where you, you and I have paid for, and they own them. And I'm going to leave you the links of who owns the West and also what they're doing to the Apaches. But the Apaches are standing up, and they're reaching out across the divide between Indians and the rest of the community and they're saying you know we're human beings and this is affecting all of us and i i give a thumbs up to the apaches for doing this i think anybody in southeast arizona really needs to get in touch with them i'm going to leave the links below below here because i've got some things to do today but i thought i should give you a heads up if you look at this map you'll be amazed at i mean i think it's even an old map i don't know i just know that on this map it says um Proposed mining operations that have been blocked by the Department of Interior because they posed a risk to public health or environment? None. So in other words, they don't care about your water. Your water means absolutely nothing to them, the federal government. So this, this, this so-called um, uh, Republic experiment was an experiment in... How do we slowly enslave the people without them knowing? And now that we're coming to this head of this, and more people are knowing, we've got to come up with solutions. And I urge you, if you're in southeast Arizona, join the Apaches or the Diné. They are standing up for the best they can. They need all the help they can get. Um, and if, if you're in those communities and don't know about some of these pretty names they put on their acts, go read the bills. It'll shock you. And um, so anyway, I'm going to leave the links below. I love everybody. Peace, love, and truth. And I hope you have a very good day. But start checking out what's happening in your area. I did check on the map mine. But I already know mine's being used for the Agenda 21 sustainable development. And we did push back. And so far, we've won one battle. But, you, you know, that's... It's going to take all of us to wake up and start pushing back. If you want your sovereignty, you got to take action. And and that's exactly what you have to do. Love you all. Peace. Linda's out.